Hi there. Welcome to my channel. I'm Diana Clark. I'm an interior decorator in San Diego, California. I specialize in helping people rearrange what they already own and love to make their homes more beautiful than ever before. A lot of times I'll help my clients hang art on their walls. And I always think of that as sort of the missionary style way of displaying art. It's great as far as it goes, but there are so many other really fun ways that you can display your art besides hanging them on walls. I have 12 ways that I'm going to show you today, and I kind of think of them as the dirty dozen. In this example, I've stacked a small painting in front of a larger one. This works best if the larger painting has an area that doesn't contain really important information because you will be covering up part of the larger painting. Don't be afraid to keep on stacking. This can be a really fun way to display multiple paintings all in one spot. Got something ugly like an electrical box? Every home does. Why not put a painting on a hinge and use it as a door to cover up the ugly eyesore? Your bookshelf is a great place to tuck a little painting. You might also try your hand at hanging a painting on top of your bookshelf. Just make sure that the books that are going to be behind it aren't ones that you're going to want to look at all the time. Do you have a decorative chair that you seldom or even never sit on? You can use it to good advantage by displaying a painting. I always like to prop paintings on floating shelves. These shelves are so easy to find. If you Google floating shelf, you'll turn up all different colors and styles and sizes, and they make a great way to show off your art. I think of small tabletop easels as the perfect solution for a commitment phobic. It's so easy to switch where you put the easel, and it's so easy to switch what you put on it. So you can get a quick new look with almost no effort. Put an easel in a corner somewhere and prop a painting on it and you have an instant corner brightener for just about any room. Lots of homes, and particularly apartments, often will have a pretty ugly or nondescript builder grade door and you can use it as a place to hang your art. In this example, the painting is actually covering up a spot on the door where somebody put a fish through it, I think. You know what? Don't forget your floor. It can often be a great place to prop a piece of art. Hanging art on top of a mirror can also be a creative thing to do. In this particular case, the mirror had a flaw where the silvering had started to come off, so we solved the problem by putting a little painting over it instead of buying an expensive new mirror, and the end result is pretty interesting. If you decide to do this, I suggest you go to YouTube and search how to hang art on a mirrored wall. That way you'll be sure to use the proper technique so that your artwork is safe and secure and doesn't come crashing down. I hope these examples have inspired you to display some of your art in new fun ways. Maybe you'll drag some pieces out where you've been storing them under the bed and start enjoying living with them every day. Or maybe if you're in a gallery and you're standing in front of a piece that you absolutely love and you're thinking, oh, but I can't buy it because I don't have any wall space. Well, now you can buy it because you know there's always a way to display it. That's all I have to share with you today, except a few last thoughts. Please give this video a little thumbs up and maybe leave me some comments down below. You know I could talk decorating all day long till the cows come home. And lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, because I love you.